Hello and welcome to Carmen Miller's Talk of the Town, Fort Mill TKK. I'm your host, Patty Mercer, surrounded by just a few of the beautiful pieces provided by the TKK Art League. Let's check them out. You are an artist. You are part of this TKK Artist League. You guys call it TKAL. TKAL. I love that. For sure. It's an organization that meets every Thursday morning and we paint together. And there are very talented people. In fact, when it first started, there was a limit of 12 people and they all had to be professional artists. And they have loosened some of the rules, but not all of them. You do have to know how to paint. We usually have about eight or nine people a week who mm -hmm. come regularly and we have coffee and chit chat a little bit and then get to work. What does this mean to you personally? It is wonderful to be a part of other people who love art as much as I do. Wow. And we get together and we paint, we critique each other when requested. Okay. We don't we I don't like offer, the way you put that in there. We don't offer criticism, but right. we we do offer help to one another and it's fantastic because we have so much talent. And uh, it is just great getting together with other artists and doing our jobs. It sounds like you want to be inspired by each other to get better. We do, and we love it when people give opinions and um, critique us. The group is very inspirational because when you get together with the rest of the members of the TGK Art League, they really you know, help you to see something that you may not see. And uh, you know, we're all very helpful to one another, I love it. People that are there, I just hold in very high regard because they have so much talent. So what does it mean to you to be part of such an incredible group? I'm always amazed at what our group produces. They're all talented artists, men and women. They are award winners at shows and juried contests. We're all very happy every time something wonderful happens like that for one of us. I actually do collage. Yes, I and see a lot so of I, I create detail my in own there. papers and then um, I actually do collage. So that's my medium. Peter is part of a series yes. of other fish. Yes, freshwater fish. And I've incorporated some uh, maps of lakes uh, yes. that um, I'm familiar with. And uh, some sayings and everything in the paper. So. It's awfully fun to do yeah. this with a with collage. And it's beautiful too. Well, thank and there's you. so much more. If you just think it's one thing, a picture of a fish, no, no. So, <laughs> what inspires you? How do you know when you see that, that something that you want to paint? You just feel it. You feel it? Yes. Okay. You feel it. And then you want to capture that feeling. So and that everyone else can so, enjoy and, and have that same moment? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's a passion. And when someone wants to, I mean, the passion is enough, but when someone wants to purchase that, oh, yeah. it's through the moon. Is it hard to let it go? Yes. Yeah. Because I would imagine there's an emotional attachment that you develop in this process. Yeah, because it's part of you. Yeah. You're yeah. giving out part of you on a canvas. Yes. Yes. Now, how many pieces have you completed? Would you oh, say? Hundreds. Hundreds. So this is something that you just enjoy doing and you continue to do it and you always find that inspiration? Oh yes. Wow. There is inspiration in everything. Yes. Well it's spoken like a true artist, right? Yes. Um, have you one piece that really stands out, you know, when you think about everything that you've painted, is there one that really comes to mind that just kind of stayed with you and is your favorite? There are two pieces that are my favorite, and they're on my wall, mm -hmm. and it was a big snow in Tika K, and I walked the trail and took some photos, and I have two pieces that I just absolutely love. Wow. And what inspires you? Mostly nature. I've, I see beauty in everything I see that's nature. 
Um, I grew up in British Columbia between the ocean and the mountains and I could see them out the window and water, woods, lakes, yep. ocean, anything. It's mostly nature but portraits, it's just some an interesting face. Or, mm -hmm. There's, I'm inspired by a lot of things. I've got so many paintings in my wow. head that need to come out. I'm yeah. going to have to live a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your art. Uh, well, I started as a decorative painter a long, long time ago. and uh, <laughs> A very long time ago in the 70s. <laughs> and then I took a watercolor class. I was a teacher and in the summer I took a six-week watercolor class and said, this is my new medium and I've never looked back. Now, living in TGK, <clears throat> do you find a lot of things that catch your attention? Oh, yes, a lot. I've actually painted two paintings of the Memorial Garden and I've also done one in with snow. And um, I take a lot of photos and only a few of those photos get to be paintings, but um, I love painting herons. I love painting uh, landscapes, mm -hmm. and I've started doing a few with people in. Well, that's it for this edition of Carmen Miller's Talk of the Town, Fort Mill, Tiga K. To see more beautiful homes in our area, simply go to homesfortmill.com and see why Tiga K is such a wonderful place to call home through the Tiga K Art League, where getting together is about art, talent, fellowship, and what? Friendship. Friendship! Until next time, this is Fatty Mercer. Bye-bye.